Ever considered swapping your tired office Oxfords for the spry, slip-proof sneakers of a waitress? Well, buckle up for a wild roller coaster ride into the bizarre universe of hospitality. A world where waitresses aren't just waitresses, they're undercover superheroes sporting aprons, navigating a battlefield laden with creme brulee landmines and patrons itching for a showdown at high noon, all while flashing a smile brighter than a Vegas marquee. The job title? Chief Plate Juggler. Because as a waitress, you're royalty. Ruling over a vast kingdom of clattering cutlery and banter, you're an Olympic-level gymnast, perfectly executing a graceful routine on the balance beam between a customer's dream dish and what the chef lovingly refers to as, oh, culinary feasibility. You're a seasoned circus artist, juggling more orders and tables than a unicyclist juggling flaming swords, all dancing to their own beat. A sultry samba, a whimsical waltz, or sometimes a head-banging heavy metal. You're predicting the diner's next move before they even think it. And occasionally, you're an impromptu therapist, lending an ear to the lonesome diner's lament or indulging in the latest love life saga from the golden anniversary couple. Forget reality TV, this is a live, unscripted drama more entertaining than Than the Kardashians. Every shift feels like an award-winning sitcom episode, chock full of plot twists and punchlines. One minute, you're catering to a mob of 20, the next, you're a UN peacekeeper, mediating a heated dispute, a wrongly delivered side of super crispy bacon. This wild ride keeps you on your toes, sharpens your wit, and gives you an uncanny understanding of human behavior. Not to mention an endless supply of hilarious anecdotes for your future tell-all book. But waitressing isn't all about the theatrics, it's also about belly laughs and smiles. It's the pure delight on a kid's face when you serve their favorite triple scoop rainbow sundae. It's the heartfelt appreciation from a customer who recognized your flawless performance. It's the late night laugh attacks with your fellow waitstaff, reliving the night's comedy after surviving another dinner theater. Sure, there are times when it feels like a laugh trackless sitcom and you question why you didn't opt for the quiet life of a librarian. But then there are the heartwarming moments, the shared laughter that turns this job into a delightful so consider this your all access pass, a backstage tour into the entertaining symphony that is the industry, a world brimming with mouth-watering smells, touching moments, and the occasional airborne spaghetti. So hold on to your hats as we dive headfirst into the comically chaotic life of a waitress. Picture this, you're juggling flaming swords. Oh wait, I mean multiple tasks at once. Did I mention you're doing this on a unicycle? Okay, not really, but that's what it feels like to be a waitress. Welcome to the high wire act of balancing plates and personalities. It's like the Cirque du Soleil of the food world. Every shift is a wild ride at an unpredictable theme park. One moment you're playing detective, deciphering the dietary preferences of a six person ensemble. The next, you're impersonating a ballet dancer, pirouetting through a labyrinth of tables, heaving a tray heaped with sizzling dishes, all while praying to the gods of gravity and grip strength. As a waitress, your job isn't just about serving food. Oh no, that's the easy part. You're also moonlighting as a psychologist, diagnosing a kaleidoscope of personalities. There's the regular who orders his coffee with the precision of a NASA scientist. Two sugars, no cream, and must be exactly 140 degrees, because apparently we're also baristas doubling as human thermometers. There's the rookie patron frozen with indecision between the chicken Alfredo and shrimp scampi, hoping you'll descend from the heavens with a divine culinary revelation. And naturally, there's the impatient finger snapper demanding immediate attention in the middle of the dinner rush. They usually have the patience of a two-year-old on a sugar rush. But wait, there's more. Like the thrill of becoming a living leaning tower of Pisa, balancing a precarious pyramid of plates that earns you a respectful nod from a fellow server. That's right, folks, we've got our own version of the Olympics or the joy of a customer leaving a glowing review about your service, making you feel like you've just won an Academy Award for Best Waitress in a Leading Role. There are days when you feel like you've unwittingly signed up for a juggling act at a circus, except in place of balls, you have tasks. And there are days when you feel like a seasoned diplomat navigating the choppy waters of customer politics. But day in and day out, 
You're a waitress, dishing out meals with a side of smiles and handling each curveball like you're in the major leagues. This, ladies and gents, is the dizzying waltz of a waitress. It's a job that requires the agility of a cat, the patience of a saint, and the charm of a talk show host. This roller coaster ride of a job tests you, applauds you, and above all, teaches you the art of juggling flaming swords. Er, I mean, balancing plates and personalities. In this job, you meet all sorts of characters. Some leave you a generous tip, others just a puzzling aftertaste. Kind of like sampling a box of chocolates, only with less sugar and more spice. Over time, you realize that the restaurant is a bustling zoo, each patron a unique creature in their own right. First up, there's the appreciative diners. Oh, they're the glittery unicorns of the bunch. They treat you with respect, understanding the sweat and hustle that goes into serving. They're the ones who leave a generous tip, a kind word, or a smile that could light up Times Square during a blackout. Then there are the demanding ones, or as we call them, the peacocks. They expect you to be their personal chef, sommelier, and stand-up comedian all rolled into one. They snap their fingers, expecting you to poof into existence like a genie without the magic lamp. They seem to forget that they're not the only peacocks strutting about in the restaurant. And let's not forget the hungry ones, the grizzly bears of our zoo. The ones who come in with a growling stomach that could rival a thunderstorm. They're not rude, just incredibly impatient, like a five-year-old waiting for Christmas in July. They can't understand why their steak doesn't teleport to their plate two minutes after they've ordered. But serve them a quick meal, and they transform faster than Cinderella at midnight. Despite the wild safari, these encounters shape us, teaching us more about human nature than a week-long Netflix binge on psychology documentaries could. Like the elderly couple celebrating their golden anniversary, their eyes still twinkling with more sparks than a 4th of July fireworks show, or the young man popping the question over dessert. Probably more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. These are the moments that make the demanding customers the long hours and the numb feet worth it. You see, we're not just serving food. We're serving experiences, memories, laughter, and the occasional life-changing proposal. Each diner brings a new story, a new challenge, like a surprise episode in a never-ending sitcom. Yes, it's a wild world out there in the restaurant industry, but at the end of the day, it's our world. And boy, what a show we got going on here. Every shift, I can't help but think, What's cooking today? And what do you know, always a new lesson simmering on the stove. The first virtue on the menu was patience. Think of it as the secret sauce, adding a dash grace to every interaction. And let me tell you, it's more versatile than ketchup. From the indecisive diner at the Pancake Waffles Junction to the family of five who change their order more often the weather, a dollop of patience helps you serve them all with a smile. Now resilience, that's the meat and potatoes of this job. It's bouncing back after you've mistakenly served a burger to a vegan, or even when you've done a double shift that felt longer than a Monday. It's about dusting yourself off, rising again like a phoenix, or in my case, like an overcooked souffle. But the cherry on top, or should I say the icing on the cake, is a positive attitude. When the kitchen's in chaos and orders pile up faster than bills, a positive attitude is as refreshing as finding a $20 tip. It's infectious, spreading faster than the latest restaurant gossip. From you to your customers to your coworkers, it lightens the mood and let's be honest, it makes fly faster than a burger off the grill. These lessons, they aren't exclusive to my crazy kitchen. They've spilled over into my personal life like an overboiled pot of pasta, changing how I sail through the seas of life. Patience has made me a better listener and resilience has shown me that it's okay to fall fall as long as I bounce back higher than a dropped meatball. And a positive attitude? Well, it's turned me into a sunshine junkie, always searching for that silver lining, even when the clouds look as burnt as my first batch of cookies. And I feel like I've been attending a club, only it's a masterclass in life skills. The restaurant with its rock and roll and buzzing customers has been my lively stage. My coworkers, customers, and yes, even the grumpy chef who could make a rock cry have been my joke-telling mentors. And if I've learned anything, 
It's that navigating life's choppy waters is easier with a boatload of grace, strength, and a healthy side of humor. All in all, Mai has been a masterclass in life skills served with a side of laughter. Ever thought your waitress could be your stand-in shrink? Well, swallow that thought with your coffee. As waitresses, we're not just your food fairies or caffeine lifesavers. We're often an eager ear, a comforting light in the gloomy diner, and yes, yeah, sometimes even the safety rail for your emotional roller coaster. You see, the restaurant table is more than an eatery. It's a Broadway stage where life is the star. It's where people come to pop champagne corks or shed tears, to bond, or sometimes just to nibble on solitude with a side of fries. And we, the waitresses, well, we are the understudies, stepping in for a quick cameo in these life scenes, donning our aprons and comfy shoes, we've heard it all, from the ecstatic shrieks over a promotion that makes the forks jump, to the somber hum of sorrow that makes the glasses shiver. We've been there for the first date, jitters that make coffee cups tremble, and the old couple handhold that warms more than just soup. We've seen the spark in a woman's eyes brighter than our diner neon, as she says yes to a proposal, and the man's tears that could fill up our tip jar after he's lost his job. Yes, we've the vault to secrets that even the nosiest friends or family members haven't cracked. We've been trusted with tales, confessions, worries, and dreams that could fill a best-selling novel. We've offered words of comfort, been cheerleaders, and sometimes just silent partners in crime. Does it get emotionally draining? Sure, and sometimes we wish there was an emotional mop we could use. Is it easy to carry the weight of so many tales? Not always, but hey, who needs the gym when you have this? But it's also incredibly rewarding, like finding an extra tip under the napkin. It's a reminder of our shared human sitcom, the highs and lows, the laughs, and the cry fests. It's a reminder that we're all in this together, just like meatballs and spaghetti. So as we refill your coffee cup, clear your plates, and bring you your bill, Remember, we aren't just waitresses. We're your secret keepers, your cheerleaders, and your unofficial therapists. Yes, we waitresses wear many hats, and therapist is just one, along with comedian, story collector, and friend. So the next time your waitress serves your meal, remember she might also be serving up a hot plate of empathy, seasoned with understanding, and a hearty side of human connection. Well, 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 despite the battle scars, there's a lot to love about my, yes, it's true. Being a waitress isn't just about juggling orders like a circus performer or dealing with customers who make a grumpy cat look like a happy puppy. It's also about the thrill of service, the comedy of errors we call teamwork, and the parade of fascinating characters I meet daily. Let's kick things off with the thrill of service. There's something incredibly rewarding about seeing the look of pure bliss on a customer's face when they take the first bite of a dish you've recommended. Like when you bring a piping hot cup of joe to a customer who's had a day longer than a Monday. Seeing them unwind with that first sip, it's like watching a balloon deflate. In a good way, those moments, as fleeting as they may be, make the whole circus worth it. Then there's the camaraderie. The kitchen staff, the host, the other servers, we're all part of this crazy roller coaster ride. We share the rush hour madness, the laughter, and the occasional waterworks. Think of us as a soup opera, a family cooked up in the pressure cooker of a restaurant service, and oh boy, the people I meet. It's like an episode of Humans of New York every day. I've served everyone from undercover celebrities to backpackers who seem to have misplaced their backpacks, witnessed first dates that were more awkward than a dad joke, and golden anniversaries that give Hollywood rom-coms run for their money. Then there's the regulars. The elderly couple who come in every Sunday, rain or shine or hail or zombie apocalypse. The group of friends who've played the same trivia game every Tuesday night for the past five years. I swear they've memorized all the questions by now. The young woman who brings a new book every week and gets so lost in its pages, we have to remind her to blink. These are the golden nuggets in the quarry of my job. The moments of connection of shared hilarity that make the mad rush the sleep-deprived nights and the occasional customerzilla worth it. These are the reasons I strap on my apron every day, whip out my notepad and dive back into the madness. And that's why despite the circus, I wouldn't trade my job for all the tips in the world. As the curtains fall on today's episode, let's dive into the wonderfully chaotic world of waitressing. 
Bet you didn't know that, that the potato soup was actually just yesterday's mashed potatoes, did you? Kidding. But seriously, are some nuggets of wisdom I've picked up on the job. First off, resilience. Think superheroes in aprons. This job will test you in ways you can't imagine. You'll meet all sorts of people, from the sweet old granny to the grumpy woman who thinks the soup is never hot enough, and you'll have to serve each one with a dazzling smile even when you'd rather serve them a piece of your mind. But fret not. These are the moments that turn us into human stress balls, super bouncy and extra tough. Next up, balance. And I'm not talking about the five plates in each hand kind of balance. It's about juggling personalities. Every guest is like a surprise chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. It's like treading on eggshells without breaking any, but hey, it's this constant dance that turns us into professional people readers, moving on to patients. The service industry isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Sometimes it feels like a never ending game of snakes and ladders. You're just one spilled drink away from sliding down to square one. But remember, patience isn't just about waiting. It's about not turning into a crazed Hulk while you're waiting. Now let's talk about the silver linings. There's always that one customer who makes your day, the one who thinks you're the best thing since sliced bread. And trust me, nothing beats the adrenaline rush of dinner service well executed. It's like winning an Olympic medal in food service. Lastly, remember, as a server, you're not just delivering food, you're delivering an experience with a side of fries. Your attitude, your service, your smile, they all contribute to how a customer feels when they walk out of the restaurant. So make every interaction count, and if they don't smile back, well, maybe they just have spinach in their teeth. As we plunge into the future, here's my hope. Let's start a trend of server appreciation. Remember, behind every plate of food is a person who's surviving the hunger games of the restaurant industry. So the next time you're out for a meal, tip your hat and your server. Because to a server, a little appreciation means a world. And for those considering a career in the service industry, go for it. Dive into the deep end of the pool. It'll challenge you, it'll test you, but guaranteed it'll be a roller coaster ride you'll never forget. Remember, every meal comes with a, a side of hard work and dedication. So next time you dine out, don't forget to appreciate your server, or at the very least, remember their name.